Trezzy and Racing for calling me out, uh, saying I don't drink enough beer. Uh, I just want to, you know, swing in here and say thanks for the shout out, dude. That means a lot. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little. We ain't doing a shotgun, so I know he uh, he hyped you guys up for that, but we'll get you a shotgun before it's all over. Uh, so, but Brian. Thanks, buddy. And uh, here's me drinking beer on camera. What's going on? So, you guys just saw us do Heather's truck and all that stuff um, in the last video. But while I was at work today, somebody was out here busy. <laughs> I built another one. He oh. built another one. Sorry, no video on that one. Um, it's pretty it's, much the same thing I did on the six liter, except this one where uh, I built this one to sell at the uh, uh, swap, meet. swap meet that we're going to on Saturday. And like I've been telling you guys, all this stuff right here, minus, minus this stuff right here, because this is all our Vegas stuff that we have to take. But all this stuff right here has to go with us to the swap meet. All right. Sorry I didn't get no video done for the uh, the old swap meet, but it did not go as planned at all. It was kind of a flop. As you can tell, you know, we coming back with pretty much everything that we went with, minus a few little things here and there. A but block, a block and I, a jack bolt is pretty much what we sold. That, and uh, I did pick up my trophy from Honor Speedway from last year while we were there. And I got a couple of things for the car while we were there. But... You win some, you lose some. So we're uh, we're gonna go back, unload all this stuff again, again, because we have loaded it, unloaded it, reloaded it, and now we're unloading it again. So there's that. But uh, so yeah, we're gonna go back, unload it all, and then figure out what to do from there. So we'll catch you guys when we get back to the house. We're almost there. So we will. Uh, Catch up with you here in a little while. Y'all saw us get everything unloaded out of the truck. Minus that block right there. Because that one is complete. And for some god-awful reason, Chevy thought it would be a good idea to make these things twice as heavy as a small block Chevy. So we're going damn thing. So we're gonna get this one on a stand because Jamie's gonna take it apart and gotta put some can bearings in it. Anything? Nothing? Nothing? Not yet. What's going on, guys? Got Jamie coming out here. We're gonna open up the oh, shop. Shit. We're gonna open up the shop. Um, <laughs> so, sorry, this video has been delayed a little while because uh, we haven't really got a lot of foot like video done because, as you can see, the great state of Colorado got you know foot of snow. So, we haven't really had time to do anything because it's been negative degree weather and snow uh, every day. So now that it kind of warmed up just a little bit. <laughs> just a little Not. bit, it's like 10 degrees outside. So we're gonna go with that. Figured I'd come out here, show you guys what Jamie's been up to. And 
We're gonna do a quick little check over of the car because as you guys know, we leave in five days for Vegas. So that's gonna be exciting. Um, so let's kind of show you what Jamie's been up to. All right, so while I was at work, Jamie fired the car up because we're having a spark issue that we continued and continue having, okay? But we've also had a problem with, you know, Colorado having cold weather, getting the thing to build temp, okay? Well, you know, they make those fancy little things that you slide in front of the radiator and, and it blocks it off so the motor builds temp. This was his idea. Good old carpet and some cardboard block the entire radiator off and cinder. <laughs> hey, I had, to, I had to figure something out. It took 30 minutes just to get it to 170. So, so if you ever, uh, if you ever need to build temp in your car and it's cold outside like it was today, I think it was like a brisk one degree. So that's, that's always an option. <laughs> yeah, it was a degree. Uh, it's just a little cold here but yeah i mean that's i don't care who you are right there that that is stuff you know what i'm saying not even not good not bad not great not terrible it's just stuff you might be seeing us use that a lot more <laughs> i love it guys we're back with nordic racing engines i had to figure out how to clean some of the guy that cleans a lot of my parts and stuff is actually quitting and, and this isn't just nordic racing this is going to be part of the video i'm putting out where you'll see a lot of the car and everything like that so keep that in mind so what we got is we got a bunch of ls stuff and we i got some 12 block stuff over there i need to clean too and this is something i just put together but explain why you put it together. Well, I'm getting there. So well, I'm, I'm not going to show them yet. I, uh, this is what I put together because, like I said, it needs to be cleaned. And I'm trying to do this as cheap as I can. And this whole setup right here, I think, was like 120 bucks or so-ish, roundabout. This is one of those 90 percenter deals that Trezzy and Racing likes to talk about. Um, this is a kind of... D DIY. DIY, there you go, DIY. So keep that in mind. All right, so <clears throat> I'll show you how how well it works here in just a second. Now I got a head picked out. This is a regular 317 code head off of a six liter uh, LS series. See, there's the bait code. And you can see how dirty this is. It's pretty nasty, it's pretty messed up. <clears throat> I took the valves and stuff out, all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this up just like this right here. And I'll show you something else that I did to uh, help pick this thing up. Not yet. No, not, oh, he says not yet, all right. I know it's a little messed up right now, but this is a battery hold down. That's it. Is that the extra one we pulled out of my car? Yeah. <laughs> This is the extra one. I just bent the hook out a little bit, and here's what I'm gonna use it for. Because, hook it right in there, pick him up, just like that. And then you walk right over him, what I got going on, my chin, you drop it down in there. Just like that. Now, what underneath just like that right there and here's another little thing I'll show you here in just a second so what I got here is a what I call a crawfish burner it's just regular old cook burner hooked up to a five pound or a ten pound bottle of uh, LP yep. <clears throat> this is a number three wash tub it's 50 bucks at Ace Hardware no they do not sponsor us and when I got in there, because our faucet, our outside faucet froze today, is I bucketed a bunch of snow and melted the snow in there. <clears throat> and then I took some purple power stuff. 
And that is some, <laughs> that right there is some straight redneck stuff right there, boy. Yeah. And Don, dump some in there, dump some of the purple power stuff in there. And I got it up to where, I don't know if you can see it, where it's kind of steaming, a little bubbling kind of thing here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty hot. The, the water is probably, uh, I'd say 150 degrees or so. And that's the finger tester, by the way, the <laughs> finger yeah, thermometer. The finger tester. <clears throat> Something that you want to remember whenever you're dealing with this stuff is every once in a while, you know, every 10 minutes or so, grab you a drill. I got a little brush on here I use to clean the heads with. Hit it and you move it around to mix up the soap, the water, and all that good stuff. That gets it to where it's all incorporated and it's actually moving through that head. Look at, not to cut you off, look at this poor tire, man. We have done everything. This is one of my Vegas tires. Yeah, I didn't do that. All right. So, this is one of the tires that we have <laughs> we have grooved and ready for Vegas. It's a spare. And we had, I painted on top of it. And then, if you see all this little crud stuff on here, Jamie decided to do that today, so. I had to have something set the head on. It was right here, so we had it with So we got the next little thing I just kind of rigged up just now. Um, I got some video of that I'll put on there. Yeah, it's just a little cup thing. I think you can buy these things for like 20 or $30 at Walmart. The little utensil thing for the camp camping. I just punched some holes in it, set some valves in it, and I'm going to set it right over here. It's going to sink right down in there and clean the valves off. I'll lay it over and we'll hook it right here. That way I know where it is. The edges of this thing does get pretty hot. Not so hot that it's gonna burn the shit out of you, but it does get you know pretty warm. So there is a DIY homemade hot, hot tank. tank. So hopefully this helps you guys a little bit, you know, save you a little bit of money other than taking it to the machine <laughs> shop and getting it all hot tanked and everything. So there you go. There's your little and, uh, ninety percenter deal. Give you a little bit of, for instance, as to what it did. Uh, these right here. Let's we'll show them. Well, you guys saw the dirty head. Yeah, and this these one, are a set of eight sixty twos that were pretty nasty whenever I first got them. They're still kind of messed up a bit, but they were a little bit worse than that three seventeen head I just put in there. But this is generally what they come out looking like. And you take a wire brush and some. Uh, <clears throat> brake clean and rag and you can go in, get in here rub all that stuff off see the other good thing about the way this soap works is they can go in there and they can rub that right off there's nothing to it and it works pretty well works decently fast <coughs> works well for aluminum does pretty well for steel especially uh, like the iron heads for the IMCA stuff you can't run aluminum heads you can run iron heads you just dunk it in there and leave it for, I don't know, whatever your preference is. I think the last time I left uh, one of these heads in there, I think it was uh, about a half hour. And then I got it out, <clears throat> you know, and, and uh, what I did was I flipped it around and I used this little, it's a plastic brush on a drill, just cut the little handle off of it. <clears throat> and uh, I'll show you here in a little bit uh, how I cleaned the intakes and some of the exhaust and, uh, a little bit of the hard to reach places just real quick in there using a the little hook thing here uh, just to get it clean and uh, <clears throat> you know it, it's not an easy process but for a one-time investment of anywhere between 120 150 dollars depending on where you're at this will probably save you quite a bit of money because it's about 70 bucks to have something cleaned by a machine shop or at least it is around here and we are in colorado springs by the way colorado we are in Colorado Springs. You know where it, it's gonna. Oh, and by the way, so you know the snow that's on the ground and everything like that. It's gonna be 50 degrees come Saturday. So that's how you know Colorado works. If you see, if you take a look real quick here, you'll see some of this nastiness floating up at the top. That's coming off that head. We're we'll trying to keep that to as best a minimum as you can. I know it's you know. It's, we're done, I'm doing what I can here. So take your little shot towel and you just run it across that nastiness and it picks it up for you. Cleans the top of the tank for you. Then just run it across a couple times, pick up the nasty, get your bucket, throw it in the bucket, and let it dry out. So, 
that's pretty much it right now. I'll show you the final product whenever we pull it out here in about a half hour. So we'll catch back up with you on that and kind of show you, you know, what they look like after they've been hot tanked. All right, so you saw how dirty the head was. This has been about, what, five minutes it's been in here. Now this temp, this water's pretty hot. You wanna get it as hot as you can at first without boiling it. And then turn down your flame to uh, about a medium to a high, low type setting, just to keep it hot. And as you can see, if you look over here in some of these uh, bowls, a lot of this nasty has come off. Yeah, a lot of that nasty's already started to come off. <clears throat> and then uh, I'll pick it up and show you the other stuff. You see how hot this is. That's why you use the little hook. The nasty's coming off of it pretty well. We're going to stick it back in there and let it boil a little bit longer. Should, uh, we'll catch back up to you again here in a few minutes. This wasn't left in there as long as I wanted to because, well, we just didn't have enough time. If I'd have left it in there as long as I wanted to, all of it, none of this probably would have been here. But all this stuff, I mean, I'm using a rag, but if you check this out, it comes right off. No issue. Real easy, simple, clean way to get her done. Be careful when you pull it out because it is hot. Same thing up here, this little crud that you get on the stuff. Just wiping mine off. Very little effort. Man shit, we didn't sell shit. Hey, 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 I'm videoing here. What's your, that's, that's your fault, ain't that? Hey, so I gotta, I gotta give a shout out since this is perfect timing. JT! What's up, man? All right, you on video, bud. Yes, sir. I, <laughs> I was just getting ready to explain some stuff and you happened to call. So I figured I'd give you a shout out. JT right here, you know, doing some fuel sponsoring for us, going to Vegas. Thank you. Oh, yeah, anything I can do to help. Hasta mañana, taco.